need haste After that boy, I need grace I need bones, that's awake I need loss with no break I am chosen, I am great After that boy, I need space But I need space Hey, brother in the red hat. Brother in the red hat, deal with them ones, huh? All right, it's a lot to go with that, right? Nationhood is what the brother was going over with you. Nationhood, right? What we talking about is the true gospel, right? What we've learned about all our lives in Christian church, what we learned about even to even to, to this day, with all the, 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 the killings, right, of our people, right? All the, the, the uh, senseless crime that's going on in our neighborhoods. All these things is happening. We still have yet to learn the truth of the Bible. We still have yet. So we know that Jesus Christ is our Savior, right? We all understand that, right? We still have yet to understand or be taught by our churches that this is the image of the beast. This is not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ does not look like this in the Bible. We still have yet to understand what the true gospel is. We still have yet to understand that. Give me Luke 170, 71. This is the gospel, brother. And you have to, in, in accepting that you are an Israelite, in accepting your nation, right? In accepting your nation, you must also accept the true gospel of Jesus Christ. You accept the gospel? Of course. Of course. Sister, you accept the gospel? Do you accept the gospel of Jesus Christ? You don't know? Okay. That's, that's, it's okay not to know. It's okay. I'm going to show you what the gospel actually is. And then we're going to see if you accept it. All right? Read. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 71. That we shall be saved from our enemies uh -huh. and from the hand of all those that hate us. So wait a minute. In the Bible, it's talking about a certain people being saved from the hand of all that hate them. Right? You, the people that hate you, what are they called? Your enemies. Your enemies. You understand that, right, sister? All right? So what is the Bible saying? There's a people... That is to be saved from their enemies. Right. Enemies. Where are you reading from, brother? Read it. For, read where you at. The book of Luke, chapter. The one. book of Luke. That's the New Testament. That's the New Testament. This is when Christ is on the scene. Right. Understand that. This is the New Testament, right? Now give me, give me, give me, um, Deuteronomy chapter uh, twenty-eight, fifteen. Where was you at just now? Forty-eight. Deuteronomy chapter forty-eight. Watch this. Read verse forty-seven. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 47. Bring it up. Because thou servest not the Lord with thy God with joyfulness. Read it right. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. So the Israelites, way back thousands of years before he said, we're going to have to be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all those that hate us. We were upset. We were angry to serve God. We were angry and we did not accept the gospel back then. We did not accept it. Read that part again. Because thou servest not the Lord, thy God, with joyfulness and, and with gladness of heart. Back, back then, we didn't serve the Lord our God with joyfulness and gladness. Right? Gospel means good news. Gospel, the word gospel, it means good news, right? So the good news is what? You're an Israelite. And you were chosen to be greater than all people on the planet. You are above all people on the planet. The gospel is not equality. That is not the gospel. That is a curse. That's a curse. Sister, you are greater than the so-called white man. You are greater than the so-called Arab man. You are greater than the so-called Chinese man. Brother, you are greater than any nation on this planet. You are the rightful king and God in this world. You just don't know it. Our sisters don't know it. Our brothers don't know it. So what we bring you back to the nation to your nationality, not religion, not religion, not Christianity, not Islam, not Buddhism, well, with all these other things, not 5%. We bring you back to your heritage, right. your culture, right. who you actually are. That's not religion. That's just truth. Right. That's just facts. That's what that is. That's facts. Right? Come on. Because you, so where we at? Because we didn't serve our God. 
with joyfulness and gladness of heart back when we had the kingdom, back when the Lord was dealing with us, back when he had, us, had given us the power to maintain and rule over this entire planet, we hated him. We didn't like that. We didn't care that we was rulers on this earth. We didn't care. Read it. Start from the top. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness uh -huh. and with gladness of heart Read. for the abundance of all things. For the abundance of what? All things. God said you hated to serve him even though he gave you everything. Right. Everything belongs and belonged to you That's from the right. beginning. Bring it out. From the beginning, this world is yours, black man. Bring it out. This is what, like Slick Rick say, the world is yours. You remember that? No. That's facts. That's right. That's the God says that. For the abundance of all things, we still didn't want to serve our God, man. Right. We still didn't. We still wanted to deal with the gods of other people, just like today. We still want to say that this is Jesus Christ, even when the even though the Bible, this is nowhere in the Bible. That's right. Nowhere, sister. Your Bible ain't got this in it as Jesus Christ. Never has, never will. That's not bronze skin. That's not bronze skin. The Bible says that Jesus Christ had bronze skin. Let's get there real quick because that's also a part of accepting your nationality. That's a part of accepting that you, not only are you a king, not only are you a god in this earth, black man. Not only must you accept that, but you also must accept this is a lie. You also must accept this is your enemy. Not friend. Even the good one. You know how we like to say these ones is good. Right? right? There's some good white people, some good Arabic people, some good Chinese people. We like to say that, don't we? But good people, well, let me ask you this. Was not some of us good when all of us was put into captivity? Bring it out. Bring it out. It had to be at least one or two of us, right? Right. Right. But we all went into captivity, right? Okay, so we got to use that same sense when it comes to the other nations. We gotta, you, we gotta have that same common sense. That same common sense. But we're gonna read this, watch this. What are we talking about? The image of Christ, our Lord and Savior. The real Jesus Christ that's in the Bible, sister. That's in the Bible. Not something I'm making up or, or it's, uh, the, the church is gonna make up. No, let's read the Bible. Let's read the Bible. Let's see what it say. Start at one. The book of Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 1, Read. the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him uh -huh. to show unto his servants. Uh -huh. Who are his servants? We are his servants. That's right. We are his servants. We are his servants. Come on. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Hold on. Let me, let me show you first that we are servants. Give me Romans 9. Give me Romans 9. I'm going to show you. I'm going to prove what I said. Because the thought might be in your mind real fast that anybody can be the servant of God. That's not true. That's not true. That's not facts, right? Come on, watch this. The book of Romans chapter nine, verse one. On. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. Read. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual soul in my heart. Read. For if I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ for my brethren, uh -huh. my kinsmen according to the flesh. So he's talking about his brethren, his kinsmen according to the flesh, not spirit, not go, ho, the ghost that's in the whatever, or you believe, so it, no, his kinsmen according to the flesh. Actual bloodline, actual physical bloodline. Come on. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Okay, come on, now we know who we're now we understand who we're talking about, right? Because we got to show who the servants of God are. Right. So he said, what he's about to address, he's addressing to the Israelites who are according to the flesh. Not spiritual Israelites, not that foolishness that they push around the world today. Actual Israelites, according to the flesh, by blood. Come on. To whom pertain of the adoption? To whom pertain of the, the, the adoption back into the covenant with God through Christ belongs to the Israelites. Belongs to you, black brothers and sisters. You are the Israelites. The, the adoption belongs to you. Read. And the glory. And the glory, meaning all that is to come if you keep the commandments. The kingdom of heaven, eternal life, power on this earth and over all that is created belongs to you. That's, right. That's the glory of God. Come on. 
and the covenants. And the covenants, meaning what was wrote as a promise, what was wrote for you to do, both old and new, belongs to you, belongs to the Israelites. Right. You are the Israelites. You are God's chosen children, chosen people. Come on. And the giving of the law. And the giving of what? And the giving of the law. Because that's our heritage. God, he had children and he taught them how to behave. He gave them a law. You don't do this. This is what you do. If you don't do, if you do it again, I'm going to spank your butt. That's the law that God gave to his chosen children. To his seed. Come on. And the service of God. And the what? And the service of God. So who are we talking about? The Israelites. Who are the servants of God. Only the Israelites are the service of God. And the Israelites are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. That's, right. That's who make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Not those liars over there in the land of Israel pretending to be you because you don't know who you are today. No, you are the Israelites. You, that's, why it's called the, that's why you are called the lost 12 tribes of Israel. The lost because we don't know who we are. We think we just Negroes. We think we just African Americans. We think that we're supposed to be beneath everybody or try to be equal to anybody. That's all we think. That's the height of what we think. But in fact, all that was created was created for you, sister. It was created for you, brothers. That's who it was created for. Had not you been created, nothing else would exist. Go back. Go back to Revelation. Now we understand who Christ is writing to when, as it pertains to what he actually looks like. Because we will forget. We will forget because we were going to slavery and somebody would teach us over and over and over and over from the time we born until we die that this is what Jesus Christ looks like. So he has to write these things for us to find out and re reintroduce ourselves to in the latter days so that we can free ourselves, so we can wake up. So that his servants can wake up. Who are the Israelites? Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Were white like what? White like wool. So white is a color. Wool is a texture. Wool is a texture. Look, sister, look to your left. Look at the brother's hair right there. That's the texture of lamb's wool. Wool comes from a lamb. And what a lamb's coat looks like, it's like your hair, his hair, his hair, his hair, their hair. That's what lambs wool. So Christ's hair was white in color and woolly in texture. Come on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. What happened to our eyes, brother, when we drink a little bit of wine? They get red. They get what? Red. Come on, bring it up. Speak up, bro. They get red. They get red. Our eyes get red when we drink, when we sip. What was Christ's first miracle? He turned water into wine. Now we understand what it's talking about. Right. Now we understand how we are to perceive the image of our, of our Savior, our Messiah. Right? Come on. And his feet, like unto fine brass. And his feet, the skin, feet have skin on them. His feet were in color as fine brass. Your skin is the color of brass. Your skin is the color of brass. Look at all these black faces out here. It's the color of brass. It is the color of brass. But there's more to it. So that there's no confusion as to whether Christ looks like this or Christ looks like this. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. So not only were they brown, but they were brown. And what happens to brown if you take it and you burn it in a furnace? Come on, we can't confuse it with this guy. There's no confusion there. So how did this happen to us, people? How did this happen? How did this happen? We, that's right. But why, though, bro? Because go back to Deuteronomy 28. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Start with verse 47. Start with verse 47. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So we hated our father. We turned on our God. That's what we did. Everything he said don't do is what we chose to do. Everything. Now give me verse 15. I'm going to show you that. Come on. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So at one point in time, we were chosen above all people and it looked like it. You could tell. When we walk down this, when we walk down a road, all the other nations flee or bow. That's what it looked like back in these days. 
back in the time where God brought us out of Egypt the first time. That's what it looked like because we were keeping his commandments. We were doing what he established for us to do as a royal people, as his children. Does not the king's children uh, 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 behave, behave differently than the rest of the world? Does not the king's children look different than the rest of the world? Right. Are not they chosen above the rest of the world? Yes, they are. So once upon a time, you can see that on the 12 tribes of Israel. You can see that on the chosen people of God, the children of God. You can see it. But what happened? We didn't want to listen to our God. We didn't want to obey him. We hated it. We hated everything he said do, and we wanted to do what the other nations did. Read it again. Know his nationality. I got you. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments, all his, what? All his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So what happened that we are now living like this, but once upon a time, we were above all nations. We didn't want to serve the Lord our God with joyfulness and gladness. That's what happened. We hated our father. We hate, he gave us everything. He gave us the world. He gave us the angels. You, you look around, you can't see the angels now, right? Back then, you could see the angels that's around you protecting you. Back then. Give me that Exodus 20, bro. Give me that Exodus. Let's bring this Bible alive. Let's make this book speak to our people, bro. Exodus 20 and 23. Is that what I want? No, 22, 23. 22, 23. 23 and 20. Thank you, officer. We gotta make, you gotta, when you read this Bible, brothers, sisters, when you read this Bible, you have to put yourself in this book. You gotta put yourself in this book. You gotta take yourself out of this fake world and put yourself in your history book. In your, like when you open your photo album. Oh, I remember that. Yo, that's back when we was, that's grandma and them right there. That's, this is our history book. This is our photo album. That's, right. That's what this is. Watch this, come on. Because I said, once upon a time, we could see the angels. Once upon a time, we were not, when you look around and you see your black brothers and sisters today, that is not the visage that was back in these times. Right. We've fallen, we've fallen because we don't want to come back to God's commandments. Right. We don't want to keep God's commandments. So we are falling into decay. Come on. The book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 20. Behold, I send an angel before thee Read. to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into, into the place which I have prepared. Read. Beware of him. The Bible says beware of him. Beware. How could you beware of something that you have no idea is there? Right. The Bible says beware of this angel that I'm sending before you. Meaning he's there to guide you and to protect you wherever you go. Wherever you go, beware of him. Beware of him. Come on. And obey his voice. He's going to tell you things. He's going to teach you things. Obey him. Obey him. Do what he tell you to do. Come on. Provoke him not. Don't make him mad by what? Disobeying him. Don't make him mad now. Come on. For he will not pardon your transgressions. He's going to wear your behind out if you get out of hand. He gonna wear your behind out if you go off. He go. That's right. Ass whooping. That's where we at now, black man, sister. That's where we at. We getting our behinds whooped right now. That's why our community. That's why we suffer the way we suffer, right? That's why people, the other nations, look at us the way that they do, because we have fallen from the, from our royalty. We fallen from our from from the uh, from the from the height of who we are. We fallen. Now we acting like whatever somebody else taught us is how we act. The Negro was created in America. Right. We, you think we was acting like this here? You think, no, no, with an angel in front of us, a pillar of smoke and pillar of fire in front of us, the chariots, which we call now the UFOs, but the chariots all around us and we can see them? No, 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 no. Our minds, our visage, our, everything was greater right. then than it is now. Right. All because we was keeping the commandments of God. Right. We were obeying the voice of the angel that was sent before us, which was to deliver the commandments of God to us. Understand that. That's our heritage. That's, a, that's not religion. That's our heritage. Give me that. Sirach, 24, 20, 23, 24. I'm gonna show you, that's our heritage. This, all this stuff where 
Church is telling you don't keep the commandments. The commandments done away with. Uh, 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 this, uh, all, all these um, doctrines they have as religions in the earth today, all foolishness, all nonsense. They are the reason, 24, 23, they are the reason we remain dead. We dead. That's who we are. We dead. We like the, you know, the movie, the, uh, the, y'all watch the picture, Walking Dead. Y'all seen that? That's talking about it. Who you think they got that from? Who you think they got that from? That's a, we don't know who we are. We just walking around. We just walking around. We don't know where we going. We don't know where we came from. We don't know who we are. We walking around with somebody's last name on us. Understand? Come on, man. We the walking dead. We got to come back. We got to wake back up and take the take on our heritage. Take on who we actually are. Take on our true identity. Come on. The book of Sirach, chapter 24, verse 23. All these things are the book of the covenant of the most high God. Remember, we just read who the covenants belong to, right? The Israelites. The Israelites, to, to them belong the covenants of God. Right. Read. Even the law which Moses commanded for inheritance. For, what? for inheritance. So the laws of God is not done away with. If the laws of God is done away with, you wouldn't exist. Right. You would not exist. I'm going to show you Christ said that. So as long as this is our heritage, the laws is our heritage, and we are here, we must keep the laws. Otherwise, we're, we're dead. We don't matter. We don't exist. We don't matter. We don't exist. If we say the laws are done away, to, if we say we can't keep the laws of God, we don't exist. You were saying you do not exist. You do not matter. No one should care about you. You are nothing. That's what you're saying when you say we can't keep the laws. Come on. Was that it on that? Come on. Unto the congregations of Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Israel is Jacob. Jacob is Israel. All right, now give me Matthew 5, 17. Because Christ said, Christ told us, he said plainly to think not that I've think not that I've come to destroy the law or the prophets, meaning everything that the prophets wrote in the Old Testament. The Old Testament is not done away with. Right. Only thing that's in the New Testament is the explanation or abbreviation sometimes of the Old Testament. That's all that the New Testament is, an abbreviation or explanation of the Old Testament. Come on. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I come to destroy the law. Hold on, we got to establish first. Who's speaking here? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is speaking here. What did he say? Think not that I come to destroy the law. Jesus Christ said, stop saying that I came and I did away with the law. Don't even think that I came to do away with the law. That's what Jesus Christ is saying. So where we get in our mind, the law is done away with because he came. That is a one. That, that is a complete contrast to what he actually said. That's a complete contrast. Come on. Or the prophets. Meaning, what the prophet said, do I didn't come and take that away. I didn't come and take that away. But what he come to do with the prophet said? Come on. I am not come to destroy. Meaning, I am not. Christ did not come to destroy any testament, any of the testament. Come on. But to fulfill. He came to do what was written in the Bible. That's right. He came to actually do it. That's, right. That's what he came to do. Whose father is Christ? Oh. Huh? Oh. I'm sorry. Who is Christ's father? Oh. God. Right? He's the son of who? God. Who are we? We're the children of God. So if Christ came to do the law, right? If Christ came to do the law, give me that in Exodus. Exodus, what is that, 4? Give me that Exodus 4 and 22. Give me Exodus 4 and 22. He came to fulfill the law, right? We have to do it also. Not can. That's a good point. Yes, I like that point. Not only can we, but we have to. We have to, right? But just like, this is what I want to show y'all. Just like Christ being the son of God came to do what God said to do we also are his children so we must do exactly what Christ did I'm going to say that again you blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans must do also what Christ did you must Christ is not Christ is not your excuse not to do what the Bible says to do come on watch this 
The book of Exodus, chapter 4, verse 22. Read. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, uh -huh. Thus said the Lord, Israel is my son. Israel is who? Israel is my son. Well, hold on. I thought Jesus Christ was his son. I thought Jesus Christ was his only begotten. No. We've been mistaught in our churches. We've been lied to in our churches. We've been put to sleep in our churches. We've been lied. So what is the Bible? What's happening here? What's happening here? Christ is the son of God and so are we. So are we. I'm going to show you Christ saying that also. Come on. Even my firstborn. We are the firstborn. Israel, meaning you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Lord's firstborn. Meaning, who does the inheritance go to? Bring it up. The firstborn. That's right. The firstborn. That's the glory of God that we read about in Romans 9. That's right. Now you get some understanding of your heritage. The lies of these of Christianity and the so-called white man are done away with. Right. They're done today. It's a wrap for these lies. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.